I'm Try Love, and this is a Google Workspace admin video brought to you by Apps Events and Acer. In the previous video, I spoke about setting password requirements for mobile devices and using admin approval and adding company owned devices. In this video, I'll show how admins can protect an organization's data, set up some universal settings for mobile devices, look at work profiles on Android, and some of the iOS settings too. As an admin, protecting your data is critical to the success of your organization. With universal settings, you can control mobile management of your devices and set password requirements, as we saw in the previous video. Let's take a closer look at the other settings available through universal settings. Data access allows an administrator to decide which technologies can access your data. There are options for endpoint verification, Android Sync, Google Sync, iOS Sync and Google Assistant. Endpoint verification builds an inventory of the devices which access your organization's data. It provides valuable information that allows you to maintain security across your laptop, desktop and mobile estate. Endpoint verification captures the device ID, serial number, type and OS with the details of the user accessing your data. Endpoint verification will also capture time of access and whether the device is encrypted or not. Android Sync allows Android devices to sync work data. Google Sync allows devices to use ActiveSync to sync data to mobile devices. For ActiveSync, you can set up IP allow lists where the, where the technology can be accessed. And you have the option to automatically delete email as trash and turn on sync when roaming. iOS Sync supports Apple iOS devices, allowing them to access data from Google Workspace. Google Assistant allows Google Assistant on Android and iOS devices to also access data for your organization. Within Universal Settings, you have a panel for security settings. This allows the reporting of inactive company-owned devices and the option to share this report to other email addresses that you identify. The option to enable or disable the camera on the devices is also present. As an admin, you can enable device approvals also. As an administrator, you can individually review user-owned devices that request access to work data. When a user adds a work or school account to their device, they see a message that an admin needs to review and approve the device. Once you approve a device, the user can access the work account data on that device. I demoed this in the previous video in this series. Administrators can require device encryption or not through universal settings. Compromised devices can be a potential threat to your organization. Rooted devices, for example, have a number of device restrictions removed. With this setting, administrators can block access to Google Workspace for devices that appear to be compromised. Similarly, jailbroken iOS devices can also present a risk, and this setting prevents these devices from accessing Google Workspace. Now we have reviewed our universal settings, let's take a look at Android settings and the work profile. A work profile can be set up on Android 5.0 or later devices to separate work apps and data from personal apps and data. With a work profile, you can securely and privately use the same device for work and personal purposes. Your organization manages your work apps and data while your personal apps, data and usage remain private. Work profiles for your organization can be enabled or not. If enabled, admins have the choice to make their use optional or to enforce work profile creation on devices which support it. And as a quick reminder, work profiles are only available if your option for mobile management is set to advanced for Android devices. As you saw in the previous video, we can set password requirements for devices. With the work profile password options, admins can choose to only apply this policy to the work profile apps. The user's own apps will be unaffected by the policy if this option is selected. Let's have a closer look at general Android settings. 
Admins can auto-wipe devices that don't sync within a specified period. If the device is set up with a work profile, the work profile will be removed rather than wiping the device. If there is no work profile, the device is factory reset. You can specify the number of days that a device can go without syncing before it's wiped. You have the option to block devices that are not Android CTS compliant. CTS is a commercial grade test suite that helps Google maintain quality standards for Android. If a device does not meet the compatibility tests for Android, it may not meet your organization's requirements. Admins can prevent users from turning off application verification on their Android devices. This audit of apps on personal devices with no work profile setting is no longer applicable because personal devices under advanced mobile management are now required to have a work profile. This audit will capture the list of apps installed on the device and details of when installed, uninstalled or updated. To make devices more secure, you can turn on Don't Allow USB File Transfer in apps and data sharing. You can also prevent users from installing apps from unknown sources. In lock screen settings, admins can prevent notification details being viewed on the lock screen preventing organization data from being viewed insecurely. Smart Lock allows devices to be kept unlocked if certain criteria are met, such as a device being at home. Administrators can prevent Smart Lock from unlocking a device so that security is enhanced. This feature you'll find under Lock Screen Features, Trust Agents. To secure your iOS devices, you can make some similar settings to prevent notifications on the lock screen, preventing managed apps from storing data in iCloud and requiring encryption on device backups. These settings are found in Devices, Mobile and Endpoints, Settings, iOS Settings. In the lock screen options, you can prevent notifications from being shown on the lock screen. Under Data Sharing, admins can prevent data being moved to iCloud and a number of other policies prevent data moving between managed and unmanaged apps. In Backup and Sync, admins can enforce encryption on device backups and prevent iCloud backups and keychain sync. And that's our overview of some of the settings to secure devices in Google Workspace. In the next video, I'll be drilling into settings to look at what's available to manage your Android devices. I'm Charlie Love, and this has been a Google Workspace admin video brought to you by Apps Events and Acer.